So my name is Rebecca Dunphy and I'm working on a business called Rampage where we're going to manufacture portable accessibility ramps out of end of life tires and set up the manufacturing site within a First Nations community to create employment. So I started this initiative as a way to make Nova Scotia a fully accessible province. So right now where we're at is in the research and development phase. So we're looking into just developing the best model for our ramp. So initially it's going to be a ramp that will cover up to three to five steps. And what I would like to see in the future of Rampage is a fully customizable ramps. So I could go to any house, any organization and build a ramp to meet their needs. One of the best parts I find about operating a business in Cape Breton is that you have so much possibility. If you were to go into a larger city or a more populated area with one of these ideas, it wouldn't be feasible. But here we have the need and we have the capacity. So it's pretty great to see new entrepreneurs coming to the area and doing well. What advice I would have for any other women that are looking to start a business in Cape Breton is to just seek out all the supports that are available and also just trying. Just give it a shot and if you fail, you fail. If you don't, that's amazing. It's terrifying, but you just gotta try. We need to be self-sufficient and have our own businesses and co-ops and organizations in place to be able to support ourselves. I would like Cape Breton to be someone's first thought in terms of a place to live for a young person. Growing up, you were kind of encouraged to leave, which can be beneficial because you leave, you learn, you grow, and then you come back. But it would be nice if it wasn't a place you had to escape in order to grow. I would like there to be a lot of initiatives within the island that were encouraging young people to stay.